Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Thursday, August 27th. I'm David Lehman, Bishop of Caledonia, and I am on the traditional and unceded territory of the Shimshan people, for which I am most grateful. Our worship this evening is on the eve of the commemoration of St. Augustine of Hippo, a noted theologian and teacher of the faith and bishop of and so we remember him this evening with our readings and our psalms and the collect. As we gather for a time of prayer, let us be still before the Lord and come into a time of worship. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm this evening is a portion of Psalm 102, found on page 459. Psalm 102, page 459. We shall say verses 19 through 28 together. For he hath looked down from his sanctuary... Out of the heaven did the Lord behold the earth, that he might hear the mournings of such as are in captivity, and deliver them that are appointed unto death, that they may declare the name of the Lord in Zion, and his worship in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together, and the kingdoms also, to serve the Lord. He hath brought down my strength in my journey, and shortened my days. I will say, O oh my God, take me not away in the midst of mine age. As for thy years, they endure throughout all generations. Thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. They shall all wax old as doth a garment. And as a vesture they shall shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. The children of thy servants shall continue, and their seed shall stand fast in thy sight. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of Matthew, beginning in the 23rd chapter at the 8th verse. And Jesus said, But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Te Luc Sante Terminum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wonted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize, 
Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to your heart, we pray as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. We say together the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. The collect for this, the memorial of St. Augustine of Hippo. God, ancient of days and forever new, you are the light of the minds that know you, the life of the souls that love you, 
and the strength of the hearts that serve you. Remember, we pray, your servant Augustine, and grant us so to rejoice in his teaching and holy life, that we may set our minds on the beauty of your truth and order our desires by the rule of your Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. May thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And from the children of light, banish the deeds of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chance of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite you to lift up for God and, and us, if you so wish, by sharing in the comments box your prayers and petitions for this evening, for the people and places that are on your hearts and minds. We pray for all who suffer from the coronavirus in this pandemic, for those in Kitimat with the outbreak there, and for the safety of all in that camp, and for those who uh, work with them. We pray for all uh, who uh, continue on the road to recovery in Fort St. John and Haida Gwaii. And we pray for all around the world who uh, have recovered or in recovery or who are still st struggling very much with this illness and for their safety and health and salvation. We pray for the doctors, nurses, caregivers, all the medical personnel that have care of them, that they may be protected and relieved themselves. We pray for all who are undergoing other medical treatments, procedures, and uh, uh, surgeries, for the extra care that's required and for the isolation and separation from families at crucial times, that they may know the care and concern of their loved ones that people may use wonders of technology like this to connect people, thinking especially those in long-term care facilities. We pray for all who are researching and trying to find a vaccine and understand this virus, uh, that they may be guided by the wisdom of God and with some expediency. We pray for all who are our first line workers, for those essential workers and the people work, who, who labor to ensure that we have what we need and, uh, and for the conditions that they work in. We pray for all migrant workers and for those who, who are the long haul truckers and, and the stock uh, stock shel the people who stock shelves in the stores and run the tills for those who are uh, doing what they do so that we can have what we need and sometimes what we want as well and so we give thanks to God for their labors and pray their safety as well we pray for all who lead us in municipal levels and First Nation communities in the various forms of government that all that takes. We pray for provincial leadership, praying for our Premier, the Minister of Health, and of course for Dr. Henry. We pray for our federal leaders and for those who lead us in national and international scenes, for um, especially our uh, Minister of Health and, and national medical officer and for the work that they do to to bring us all together at this time we pray for those in industry and business 
from the multinational, international conglomerations to the family-owned stores and businesses and for the work that they provide as they care for their staff and their customers, praying that that may always be the first priority ahead of profits. We pray that uh, all may be inspired to continue to produce creatively and be able to shift as needed to meet the needs that we have now. We pray for all who are in struggling industries and, and sectors, thinking of the hospitality industry, the, uh, the tourism industry, and, and in this province, the movie industry, uh, as, uh, and entertainment in general, as that all has to, had, to, had to be adapted and taken on new ways. Uh, and so we pray for all those and pray for people who are very anxious about income and stability in this time of transition and change and for bosses who are trying to find ways to employ people and keep them employed. We pray for all who are suffering and grieving at this time, the lost loved ones. There's many levels of, and types of grief and, and this time has just made that all the more apparent when we're not able to publicly mourn as we once did. And so we pray for those who are struggling to give voice to their loss and to know that God is with them in it and that God has promised to be faithful to us, especially in death, and to hear the words of comfort that they need to hear and to voice their loss in, in other ways than what is normal and customary at this time. And also to find ways to do what's normal and customary in safer ways as uh, we, we struggle to, to do that. And I give thanks for some of the brilliant leadership that's allowed that to happen in some communities. And so we pray for our church, for its continued witness, for the leaders, the lay and the clergy, praying in this province for um, three, er, three jurisdictions, the territory of the people, as uh, their bishop-elect prepares for his consecration in a few weeks for the Diocese of British Columbia, the Islands and Inlets, and the Diocese of New West as they prepare for Episcopal elections uh, in, at, the end of this, at the end of the next month and the beginning of October. And of course, we pray for the other three dioceses that are under great leadership and, and um, yes. And so we pray for all the concerns that you have raised and for all those that are still in our hearts and minds as we offer before God this intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember especially those people who are in harm's way or dealing with the events of a natural disaster, be it forest fires in this province, or hurricanes in the United States, or explosions in, in um, Lebanon. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us, unworthy as we are, to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the savior of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick, Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you now to offer before God your thanksgivings for this day, those moments in which we can pause and praise God and give thanks for the blessings that are in our lives and that we're seeing in and around us. I um, had a wonderful opportunity to connect with one of my predecessors today and, and uh, discuss some things uh, with uh, uh, Archbishop Hambidge, who
who's been a bishop longer than I've been alive. And, uh, and so it was nice to connect with him and have some time and enjoy uh, hearing from his wisdom. And, and uh, yeah, it was a, a, quite a, a blessed event. And, and I'm so thankful for my colleagues and, and for all those that I work with and thankful for uh, the clergy of this diocese and for all their ongoing work and efforts and all that they do. And of course, for all the many lay people around the diocese and how they witness in so many ways to the love of Christ in their lives and in the lives of their communities. So let us offer our thanksgivings before God, either aloud in the comments boxes or in our hearts as we pray. Most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, and for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men and women. We praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue on the bottom page, 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve you this night and indeed forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening, and we pray that you have a most restful night and uh, the sweetest of dreams uh, that in the morning you're able to join us again at 8 a.m. with Pastor Don out of St. Mark's Dawson Creek on their Facebook group page, their Facebook page. 12.15, we hop all the mountains out to the West Coast, join the Dean at 12.15 at St. Andrew's Cathedral's Facebook group for their midday prayers. After 164 consecutive Complins, I am taking a couple of nights, well, I'm taking eight nights off. And I am running out of town and uh, going to see some family. And so I will be back uh, a week Saturday. Uh, and Complin will continue at 9 p.m. here on the Diocesan um, uh, Facebook page. Uh, so please look for it. And we'll give thanks for Father Christopher Sampson from the North Peace Parish, who is taking this on for the next eight nights. As a, a devout BC peer, I am uh, happy he's here in the diocese and, and willing to take on this um, ministry and, and follow on. So please check, uh, check uh, him out tomorrow night and, and support him and, um, and enjoy... Uh, his uh, offering of Compline for the next eight nights. Um, please pray for me. I'm doing a lot of driving when I'd rather be sitting somewhere and just letting my uh, thoughts wander. Um, but um, a unique opportunity to catch up with some family. So I'm going to go off and do that and I'll be back. Uh, so please pray for me as I travel and go about. Um, but yes... So how, and Sunday worship and all that, all those things, everything's carrying on usual. Um, everything's in place just to keep going on. So don't worry about those things. Just go, have a, now that you've had the holy hug, and, and take your rest. And we will see you soon. Nighty night.